You know the name of the man I'm talking about, but he doesn't know your name. He doesn't see you in the hospital bed or in the checkout line or at the safety drills in your classroom. He doesn't see you at all. How many times are we gonna reelect politicians who don't laugh at our jokes, who don't sing at our churches, or who wouldn't call to show us support when we get laid off or get in a car wreck? He doesn't need hope or faith. He's got money and power. And the more power he's won in Washington, the more we've lost in Kentucky. This millionaire friends mine our land, our labor, without paying a living wage. He denies climate change, and he denies us a future. And this man knows more than anybody how to work the system in Washington. He's the architect, but he's done nothing for Kentucky. Because he's not your neighbor. He's not your brother. He ain't even from here. So I grew up in the West End of Louisville. I live in 40203, the poorest zip code in the state. And growing up, I remember so often my mom would go without eating dinner just to save food for me. But I still went to school hungry and tired sometimes. I lived that. And I knew it didn't have to be that way. So I had faith that things could get better. I had faith because I saw my grandparents opening up their homes to foster care. I saw my neighbors fighting back on the picket line. And I saw my uncle become an advocate after my cousin was murdered. Teachers, students, union leaders were all believers. And my mom always told me that if you have faith just the size of a mustard seed, you can speak to a mountain, and that mountain has to move. I'm not the alternative to Mitch McConnell. We are. This isn't the type of deal where someone can just run for office or someone can just ask for your vote. Nah, I'm asking for that kind of perseverance you only find in Kentucky. I'm asking us to build that kind of community you only find in Kentucky. Kentucky needs a movement, and we need to start talking about our dreams again. We need a Green New Deal to create thousands of good jobs right here in the Commonwealth to help us do what we do best, take care of one another. We can guarantee new jobs for teachers and nurses, build new hospitals and schools, and we can win Medicare for all so that nobody has to die because they don't have money in their pocket. We can win real democracy in Washington and the workplace. And when we win, we show that something new is happening in Kentucky. Because we're not a joke. We're not a tragedy. I know Kentucky is the future, and America should follow our lead.